Let's see. Let's see. Yes. Is that? Is that there she is. Come on in. How's it going? Good. Teresa's here with the crew. <laughs> Come on. Come on in. Uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set you guys up right here in the middle. But I want to talk to you for just a quick minute before before we get going. So come over here and have a seat. Taking a, taking a sip of my water. Yeah. There we go. You know what? Um, I, I was just looking at the numbers here uh, mm-hmm. yesterday. We had 90 people click through to your video. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Very cool. In the newsletter yesterday. So uh, let me just do one thing real quick. Yeah. Uh, Teresa Britt's here. Now, Hello. just Teresa, uh, this is Julie Davis. Have you met Julie nice before? Nice to meet you. No, we haven't met. No, Julie Hi. is the uh, president, CEO, big wig, uh, chief executive officer of, wig of the, of the <laughs> Curveville Convention Visitors Bureau that and Teresa Britt. Is the new chair of the Robert Earl Keene chair at the at the Hill Country Youth Orchestra. Very She's cool. also the Fredericksburg director of the Fredericksburg Sym- Symphony. Is Fred- that right? Fredericksburg Community Orchestras, and I house um, some youth events out of that, and we bring a symphony to Fredericksburg every year uh, uh, at a Vanderstukken Festival. And this year we'll be back in our historic home, St. Joseph's Hall, and that's April 22nd. Which one uh, is St. Joseph's Hall? St. Joseph's Hall is the one right next to St. Mary's. That's the, the Catholic Church, it, right? Yes, okay. and yeah. it, it was a, built in 19, 1900, and they renovated it recently, yeah. so it's a beautiful hall. So the, is, yeah. the, the, have you played inside of any of the big cathedral-like facilities? In, uh, that Catholic Church in, uh, yeah, in, in Frenchburg is gorgeous. Yeah. So. Yeah. so um, I played various weddings or you know, right, yeah. right. Okay, hold me. Let me set up something real quick for you guys. I'm gonna limp up. So hold on a second. All right, Julie, you're in charge of the show. Okay, I'm in charge of the show. Uh, Teresa, <laughs> tell me about yourself. <laughs> so, what does it mean that you're helping out with Hill Country Orchestra? What is? Um, well, I am one of the. Role? Dire- I'll learn something today. Yeah, I, I'm one of the directors. Okay. And, um, I tend to just because uh, when I started there, I I started teaching the littles because they needed somebody to do it, and I'm apparently so good at working with the littles and you know getting them to play to a certain level. Yeah. That um they that's why they want to make sure that position stays here okay. in Kerrville, and that's why my chair is named. And you know it doesn't have to be me. Uh, but that they want you know that position to stay, and because of Robert's uh, Robert Earl Keane's work that he's done right. with the orchestra, gotcha. they want that position to be a permanent thing. Got so, you, very uh, cool. So I'm currently the one in that position, but you know, yeah. Uh, and I do uh, work with the Junior Symphonia. We have four levels, and I think possibly a hundred or 120 yeah. students. I, I, yeah. And then we also have a branch in Bernie. We have a, a campus in Fredericksburg that combines with Kerrville. So it's, wow. it's a big deal. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My daughter uh, did violin at, through the school system here at KISD when she was little and we loved it. Uh, um, so the, what we are having here today is the Dirty Rotten Swing Band. Dirty Rotten Swing Band. And, and this is one of your many, uh, your many uh, activities. Musical adventures. Right. Yeah, you know, I do classical violin. Right. And uh, you happened to go to the symphony concert right. when they were like, oh, I bet none of these classical musicians can, yeah. can you know, possibly play Do something. the fiddle, right. And, you know, I, am, I always get that, like, oh, she's the in the classical world. I'm the fiddle girl. In right. the fiddle world, I'm the classical you know, <laughs> right. player. So I, I'll take it, whatever, you yeah. know. Uh, but I, I play both. And uh, this has been my project. Um, and I'm bringing on uh, Matthew Mefford on upright bass and Titus Waldenfels, who is my German guitarist. And oh. he performed uh, in Zug, Switzerland um, in 2022 in August. And um, we had dates all over uh, Germany. Nice. And, and went around with this, this gentleman. <laughs> so. And you're from Germany. I'm from Germany. Yes. Not, oh, wow. All right. Nice. Hey, one time we had, on a show that I previously produced, uh, we had a Buck Owens cover band from oh. from uh, Norway. That would have to be I was Sweden, <laughs> yeah. And, and they and the guy sounded just like Buck Owens, but that's uh, cool. So the Dirty Rotten Swing Band. What are you going to play for us first? Well, um, I was thinking to get warmed up. Can we do exactly like you? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I will let you guys do it then, oh, and. Uh, I don't know if you want to stand or sit or what, but yeah. I'm going to get the cameras all ready to go. Yeah, let me get this thing out of the case. I brought my violin. 
not my fiddle. Fiddle, oh, right. You can play stuff on either. So. Okay. Yeah. People always ask me, you know, what's the difference? What's the difference, right. A right. violin and a fiddle. And, uh, you know, the, the big joke is that a violin has strings and a fiddle has strings. So, ah, know, there like, you I go. I like about $4,000. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mine, <mine's>, yeah. <laughs> Different versions thousand. of that yeah, joke. Right. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, what key is it? What key is it? Uh, G. Let me get it. All right. All right. Hold on a second. Let me get this all lined up so you guys are ready to go. All right. Whenever you're ready. Well done. Well Love done. 
This is um, this is the Dirty Rotten Swing Band, and uh, Teresa, do you want to introduce just kind of loudly who you have with us here. Okay, so this is Mr. Uh, Titus or Titus in Texas, uh, right. Titus Waldenfels, right, uh, from Munich, Germany, and uh, this is Mr. Matthew Mefford uh, from Kerrville, Texas now. So. We're both Kerrville residents. All right. Barbara Gaither saying hello to Titus. Hello. So uh, <laughs> hey, Barbara. Barbara saying good morning to you as well. And uh, the so Western Swing, though, you have a, a funny little story, though. Come, just go put back to the microphone just for a quick second here. You have a funny story, though, about you, you said to me that you were, you know, you kind of grew up in a trailer. Uh, <laughs> and you, and, but you took this classical journey. Yeah. But you have some street cred, you know, yeah, you, know yeah. you can hold up. So. You know, um, I, I grew up uh, in Amarillo, and um, I always tell people, this is my elevator story, you know, uh, my dad was in prison, and my mom worked at Mr. Burger, and I took a fourth grade strings class, and I played the violin, and I, that was my thing. That was and, it. And uh, I was in band as well, and drum major, and the concert master of the orchestra, and then I went to college for classical violin, and uh, but I did grow up in a trailer house, so I speak the accent. You, you got know, the, you like, got it. <laughs> You got it down. I listened to plenty of country music. And you grew up in Amarillo, so, yeah, you know, so. They, you know what cows smell like, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> tell us, what are you going to... So, Western Swing, though, I mean, we got that concert that was so great from the symphony. Oh, It was yeah. such... How was it like to be in that, that, that setting? Okay, so, um, you know... I, I heard the name Dave Alexander, and I know right. he played with Asleep at the Wheel, right. um, and he was, I guess, a sax player, but he um, was doing the singing and guitar playing at that concert, but he's actually a very good arranger. Like, the charts that were written for the orchestra, yeah. sometimes those can be just a nightmare, Yeah. but his were perfectly correct. They were all uh you know there weren't errors in the parts i mean and so sitting down you know in your seat at symphony you're always like "Ooh, this oh, could be good this yeah could be an adventure right and so you know the the parts were um well done so it, it was just fun right to play along with them and then uh, my first fiddle teacher uh-huh. um and I, I was joking uh on the mic uh they they called you know somebody from the orchestra up to play um and my first fiddle teacher, Randy Elmore, um, I went to his summer camps because I had never done fiddle stuff and, you know, I was starting to play fiddle. And I went to a few uh, Elmore fiddle camps up in Glen Rose, Texas. And okay. so he was technically my first fiddle teacher, but he was the one playing with Dave. So. All right. So what do you, so these songs too, I mean, they're, they're old, classic. What do you guys want to do, do next? Uh, let's do Faded Love. Is All that right. okay? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll do a little twin Ooh. fiddle. He's got, he's got an oh. instrument switch yes. out. Right. He's, got, he's got them all. Yeah. He's surrounded by instruments. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, don't, I don't take them off. I regret it after. All right. It's been in the car all night? Yes. yes. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs>
It's called Heaven, Hell, or Houston. Okay. So it, there is also a ZZ Top song by that name, but this is not <laughs> Not that, not that <laughs> <song>. <laughs> All right. So not, not, not that. No, not good, good thing she clarified. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody, uh, another great example of why we have so much fun here on the lead live, and Woo! Teresa and the Dirty Rotten Swing Band. We appreciate you guys coming on. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. If anyone wants to catch us live, we are playing Sunday 
um, this Sunday, the January 29th at um, uh, Salvation, Salvation Spirit. Spirit. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's uh, in, in Fredericksburg. You have to call to get the passcode. Okay. okay. But look it up on Google. Um, Salvation Spirits. You have to call to get the gate code. But it's 3:30 to 5:30, and then we are playing at Pecan Grove Store on nice. Jan- uh, February 10th uh, for the. Uh, anniversary. Oh, uh, cool. Uh, 10th anniversary, I think. Uh, but I, if you've, it's the best hamburger in Fredericksburg, so Pecan Grove. There you go. There you go. There Great you job, go. everybody. Thank you. Thank you that for was being awesome. here. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, we'll be back with more here on the lead. Jacqueline Jurassic Media is coming up next. We'll be.